Hey y'all, welcome back to another video. I am in the car opening the vlog. Um, Oliver and I are about to go to the groomer. I have to give you a little four shot of him. He is so far past due. It's been so difficult getting him into the groomer the last couple times. It takes like, I have to schedule it like a month in advance. And then last night, Oliver, well yesterday we noticed he was like acting weird and we took us all day long to figure out what it was. Long story short, he fell in the car the other day, like between the seats. And we didn't realize that he hurt himself, but yeah, so now he's being weird in the car. So I'm just gonna try to keep him up here in the front. Anyway, um, we he is going to get groomed because he is so bushy and he looks like a teddy bear. See, look at me, I'm so handsome, yes. But if, you, if you've seen him get groomed before, he's gonna look like a totally different dog. Yeah, he gets nervous um, and is always sad because Belle doesn't understand why. He gets to go bye-bye, but she doesn't. <laughs> Did I say bye-bye? Are you going bye-bye? Yeah. He hates the groomer and it makes me sad, but. Anyway, it's necessary and he always does so good there. So it's kind of warm in this car today. It's supposed to be like, it was like 65 this morning. It's supposed to drop down to 55. So I guess I was thinking it was colder, but it's a beautiful sunshiny day. It is Tuesday for me. I'm gonna be, uh, have a busy day. I have lots of like editing, lots of work stuff and I need to, I just put my sheets in the wash. I've got a, I've been needing to do that. And I'm gonna make, when I get home, after I drop him off, I'm gonna ma make, part of our dinner and put it in the refrigerator and let it sit because it has to sit for a few hours. So I'll be sharing those uh, two recipes with you. I watched Jill Donahue make um, these two recipes and they looked amazing and I thought we got to try that. So that's what we're having. It's breakfast for dinner. So hopefully they are good. Um, so I'll share those in a little while. But other than that, I just have a busy day, errands and housework and work and all the things and you're hot. So we got to get the car started. All right, I dropped Oliver off and I'm home now. I've got to go ahead and get this French toast bake in the oven, I mean in the refrigerator. I know, sweet Chloe. I know, baby. In case you haven't noticed, she likes to cry, <laughs> cry out. Um, she's a little dramatic. So this is a recipe. I will link it down below. It's like a French toast bake and you take, I'm having the recipe like Jill did in her video. So I'm just using an eight by eight. If you're going to make the whole recipe, obviously you double it. Um, and you would use a whole loaf of brioche, but I'm using half. I've got about a fourth of a cup of sugar, three fourths cup of milk. I'm just going to add like a splash of orange juice, some vanilla and some cinnamon, just, you know, a little bit, half teaspoon to teaspoon. And then I've got four eggs. I'm going to tear the brioche up into small bite-sized pieces and then mix the rest and dump it over the top and then we're going to let that sit in the refrigerator until dinner time. In the refrigerator it is two o'clock almost so we have a good probably four hours or so it says to let it sit for two hours to even all the way overnight so four hours should be perfect
All right, it is. <laughs> it is way later. It's afternoon. Oliver is ready for pickup, so I'm going to take Belle with me. You know, she likes to go when we pick him up just because she doesn't understand why he got to go and she didn't. So, um, I think when I'm there, I'm going to pick up a little birthday treat because Ollie had a birthday last week and we didn't do anything. So, I would like to get them a little treat. I know, sweet girl. So, um, while we're at PetSmart, we might as well grab a little birthday treat and go for a little walk around the store. That's what we like to do, huh? Yeah, I'm sure he looks totally different. All right, I got my sweet boy. He looks so handsome. Oliver, yeah, see I look so handsome. Yeah, and Belle got to go bye-bye too. Did you get to go bye-bye and get your brother? Oh, it's always exhausting taking them both in somewhere, but they did so good. But we got a birthday cake. Did we get a birthday cake for the birthday boy? Oliver's birthday is February 27th, and he turned nine years old. Now both of them are nine, but we got him this little birthday cake. Of course, he shares it with Belle, and then on Belle's birthday, she shares with Ollie. I've actually not bought this one before. Pie-shaped treat for a charming boy. I don't have my glasses on, but it's a pup pie, and they had pink and blue, so we had to get blue for my boy because he's the birthday boy one week late. <laughs> Anyways, he smells so good. He looks so good. And we are going to go home. i got to get Jackson to soccer practice. All right, who wants a birthday treat? Who wants a birthday treat? Are you the birthday boy? Are you the birthday boy? My handsome boy. This is this is what it looks like to better look at it. It says it is wheat, corn, and soy free. Got it at PetSmart. We always get some kind of special birthday treat. What is it? Oh my goodness, look at that. What is it? What is it? That's cute, it comes with a little plate. Okay, we gotta cut it up. Oh, it's soft. It's soft. That's nice. Sit. Good boy. Good girl. There you go. Happy birthday. So cute. I'll just break these up and put them in their dish for <laughs> treats later on. Is it so good? Did you love your treat? Okay, so I just left and came back for the fifth time today. <laughs> um, and then I just asked Marion if he can pick him up, then I can work on dinner. So I just pulled the French toast casserole out of the refrigerator. I'm gonna let that come to like room temperature. I'm always afraid that put, putting a glass dish in the oven is gonna burst. So I'm gonna let that sit. I'm gonna start working on the, of course the dogs need to go out. Everybody's looking at me like, mom, mom, we need stuff. <laughs> We always need stuff. Do y'all want to go outside? The temperature has dropped so much. It is so cold and windy and Jackson's got soccer. So hopefully they don't, I mean, I hope they don't freeze. I made him wear a hoodie, so it's gotten so cold. But they said it was gonna be 65 this morning and drop down to 55 by this afternoon. But I'm gonna throw, I'm gonna make a bunch of bacon. So like that recipe is gonna be linked down below and then I'm gonna make these breakfast sandwiches. So you just take, um, Hawaiian rolls, but I bought the Walmart brand or the Sam's Choice sweet Hawaiian rolls and then you layer scrambled eggs and then sliced pepper jack cheese and then bacon and then like sliced American cheese and then you put the tops on and then you make a butter syrup like you melt butter with syrup and then you brush that all over the top of it and then you bake it and it sounds amazing like the sweet and savory together so i'm going to work on that but i will also link that down below and um oh i do have to make like a topping for my you make like this cinnamon brown sugar topping butter mm, all the good stuff before you bake it so actually that has to bake at 350 so i'm gonna go no i'm not sure how i'm gonna do the baking because one's at 350 and one's at 375. anyway i guess i'll go ahead and preheat for the at 375 for the for the casserole okay i'm doing real bacon for marion and jackson well jackson will eat either one but i'm doing real bacon for marion and then some turkey bacon for me and jackson will eat either he's not going to eat i don't think he will eat the french toast he's more of a pancakes and waffles kind of kid i don't know if he'll eat this or not so i'm probably going to make him some french toast like french toast bites in the air fryer with the bacon when he gets back from soccer but right now I'm gonna make like the topping for this and it's just, I think it's brown sugar, butter, cinnamon, salt, regular sugar, something like that, but it's all linked down below.
bacon is cooked and eggs are cooked and I was about ready to assemble them and my Hawaiian rolls had mold on the bottom of them. And I just bought those and they like, what is today, Tuesday? I just bought them Saturday and they've been in the refrigerator. So that's a bummer. Marion had to run up and grab some more. So as soon as he gets back, I can assemble these, which is fine. I've still got 23 minutes before the French toast is done before I can put these in because these cook at a lower heat. So I was going to have to do them afterwards, but I feel like I've been running and running and running all day long and I have not stopped. So I'm not going to stop now. <laughs> I'm going to clean up my cat's mess because they ate their dinner and it is all over the washer and dryer. And then I've got to get my bedding out and I'll put that on the bed later. But I've got to switch over because I've got more laundry in the washer that needs to go in the dryer. This is what they do when they eat. Cats are so messy. Cat my cats are way messier than my dogs are. Got some more Hawaiian rolls. These are the Kroger brand now instead of the Walmart brand. <laughs> I completely butchered this bread. I totally messed it up, but it's gonna taste the same, so. loosely cover this with foil. I don't want those I don't want those rolls to get hard. Um, I don't think they're going to but I don't know they might. So uh, but the French toast is ready to come out and Lord have mercy look at that. Look how much it rose and puffed up. Oh doesn't that look amazing. I don't really like bread pudding kind of but I don't know this just sounded so good and it smells amazing. I'm gonna let that sit while these are cooking. This takes about 15 to 20 minutes. I'm gonna check it at 15. So I don't want the rolls to be crunchy. Look what I caught Marion doing, making the bed. It's, what? Attempting. Attempting, it's such a pain down here. So that dinner was definitely, definitely two thumbs ups or four thumbs ups. Marion was like, this is so good. You loved it. Mm. It was so good. Did you like French toast or the sandwiches better? Both. Both. Um, I, I don't know which one I liked better either. That maple syrup and butter on top of the sandwiches was amazing. And then the pepper jack cheese, you could, I don't know if you could even taste that. He was just like, all the flavors, very good. And the, I don't usually like baked 
like french toast like that but that was delicious definitely make those again and we've got like half of it left so we do mm -hmm, we do <laughs> um so i'm gonna go clean up my kitchen and i'm gonna load a laundry i still need to fold well it needs to finish drying and fold and then i gotta finish editing but that was definitely good try those recipes if you like breakfast foods so good look at all the leftovers we've got yummo We played hide and seek for hours, raised our shadows among the pines. So offshore, playful and free, without a care in the world. I was one rich little girl, daydreamer, kidnap me, take me back all the way back. Kitchen is clean, thanks to Marion, he helped. 
um, laundry is put away and my back hurts. <laughs> it is 8.45. I am still working on a video, so I'm going to get back to that. But I'm going to say good night and thank you again. You know I love you and I appreciate every single one of you. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.